Look, I know what some of you guys are thinking. How cool could this DLC concept be? This guy's just trying to get me to click on this video. But look, I promise you, by the end of this video, you will also probably be thinking that this is a must-have DLC concept for GTA Online. It's just so perfect. It fits GTA Online so perfectly. And while it uses some of the old concepts that are already in the game, it adds something totally new and totally unique that I think a lot of people really will enjoy. And I also think that it's a perfect DLC, not only for us, the fans, the players of the game, but also for Rockstar because it's something that they could charge a decent amount of money for. So they get their shark card sales, but then it's also something that us players have been wanting and it would really benefit the gameplay aspect of GTA Online. Now, what am I even talking about? What is this really great idea? It's actually not really a DLC theme. It's just more of a DLC item. You could almost plug this in any sort of DLC. You wouldn't really need to make a DLC around this. And that's the best part too, because they could just put it wherever. But what I'll be talking about in this video is a GTA Online Continental Hotel. Now, I know you're probably thinking this guy's lost his mind. How the hell is a hotel the greatest idea or the coolest idea he's ever heard of? But trust me, just hear me out. This is actually coming from Reddit user N Trinity. I'll leave a link to his post in the description. But his idea stems from the Continental Hotel in the John Wick movie series. If you've watched any of the movies, you know where we're going but if not the continental hotel in those movies it's basically a hub for criminals and in this hotel they can get new weapons they could get new clothes you know they could stay there but the whole idea is that even though it's all these criminals in one spot the one rule of the hotel is that there's no violence allowed and that's the part i think would really benefit gta online but let's talk about this gta online continental hotel idea why do i think it's the coolest i'll go over specific locations at the end of this video but to start it would be similar to the ceo or the MC idea, where you have to own some sort of property before you get those titles. And I don't know what title this could give you, but the way it would work, you would need to become a member of the Continental for let's say 500,000, maybe a million if Rockstar really wanted to push it. But once you get a membership, you get access to all of the hotel's features. And that's where, that's where this hotel really gets you. So first and foremost, you would get access to housing. I think this is just something that every sort of property needs and depending on how much you're willing to spend you get better rooms so you could spend less money but you get a crappy little maybe hotel room or whatever or you could spend more money and you get the suite at the top of the hotel with a better view and this would work basically like all other properties in the game where you have a little blue circle maybe and you go in it teleports you to your interior boom that's it and really the only purpose of the housing section would be so you could spawn there when you switch sessions. Now where it starts to get interesting, all the other things that would be in this Continental Hotel, there would be an armorer. So your membership would grant you access to the Continental Armorer who is able to sell high quality and hard to get military grade weaponry and some things the military doesn't even use. Things like the airburst rifle, poisonous gas canisters, throwing knives, maybe the katana. If you wanna go crazy, put in the chainsaw. Another feature of the hotel would be a tailor. He says with this tailor, you could purchase finely crafted and bespoke articles of clothing like suit jackets, vests, undershirts, ties, suit, pants, dresses, gloves, glasses, etc in a ton of different colors and styles. Along with making you look good, the continental tailor can help you keep safe with explosive and fire resistant fabric to ensure you make it out of more scraps than before. Furthermore, the tailor can also offer comfortable, stylish and functional accessories like discreet holders, weapon slings, backpacks, bags and pads. Personally, I absolutely love this idea only because I love the whole clothing aspect of a GTA line and making your character look unique. This Continental Hotel would add a new clothing shop to the game where you could only get certain clothing from it. And I love the idea of the little accessories like backpacks, like weapon holsters, the slings, the bags, stuff like that is just awesome for customizing your character. The one thing that I don't know if many people would like 
would be the addition of the explosive resistant clothing. It would be sort of an extra cost on top of the clothing and maybe it would work like the heist items where if you get it, you don't, you can't run. You have to just sort of jump around, but maybe that's a way to defend yourself from people using the explosive snipers or the explosive shotguns. If you're wearing this sort of explosive resistant clothing, maybe it takes two shots to kill you with the explosive sniper instead of just one. Some more things included in this hotel. You would have private parking, which is a space to store and show off your prize vehicle to other members of the hotel with the guarantee that they'll be able to look but not touch. Also, a personal valet will park your vehicle upon your arrival and bring it around whenever you wish to leave the hotel grounds. This hotel would have top-notch security, so the hotel would be guarded by some of those highly trained NPCs to keep non-members off of the property. Also, they could use the yacht defense system here where they have missiles that maybe shoot down players if they get too close in weaponized vehicles, or maybe it just disables all weapons in a certain radius around this, this hotel. This is the one part that sort of is hard to get done properly, I guess, in GTA Online, because at least with yachts, they're out in the middle of nowhere, right? But if you're in a hotel, how big of a radius do you need this yacht defense or this defense system to work in? Do you want it to be big or small? I mean, you want it to, to safeguard everyone inside or whatever, but you also don't want it to impede on the gameplay. So that would be the hard part, but I feel like that's, that's something that could easily be figured out by Rockstar. One of the other really cool features about this hotel, maybe in your, your room that you buy, you would have the option to buy a convenience pack, so to say, which gives you maybe a computer with access to all of your businesses. So you could access everything, you can do stuff from this room without having to go to your specific business. And then the final thing that would be in this Continental Hotel would be a lobby. And this would be an area that any player, regardless of their membership, could access. It would still be under the no violence policy, so they wouldn't be able to use weapons. But maybe in this lobby, there are things like a bar because they like to put those everywhere. Maybe they could add some new mini games, pool, for instance, throw in some old ones like darts. Just have a nice little lobby where people could go and hang out. Now, the guy who came up with all this, he did say that in his dream scenario, he would like everything apart from the hotel rooms to not be behind loading screens. So theoretically, the interior of this hotel you could just walk straight into from online. You wouldn't have to go up to one of those little blue dots. I don't know if that's actually possible, but that would be kind of cool. We're always asking for new interiors. Give us a new interior with this hotel. But realistically, I wouldn't be mad if there was just one little blue dot on the outside of the hotel just to get inside. And once you're inside, you can go into the lobby. You can, if you have a membership, you can go up to maybe the second floor and go to the armory, you can go to the basement, go to the tailor. You know, you can do all this sort of stuff without having to go through loading screens. That's probably the, the best case scenario. That's probably the most realistic thing that would happen. But up to this point, tell me this wouldn't be one of the coolest things that they added to online. I know it's technically copying from a movie, but who cares? GT Online, it's full of criminals. It makes the most sense. And we already have a bunch of hotels in the game. And speaking of hotels, I'm just going to show you guys a few in the game where this would work perfectly. This is the one that probably is the best just because of its location, of its sort of closed in area and its little parking valet spot in the back down that alleyway. This one is the Gentry Manor Hotel, I believe. And the only way to get in is through this little entranceway. And coming in here, you have a nice little courtyard, which just could be a little place people hang out or whatever. You could see some NPCs maybe out here. I know you'd have to move that one headhunter mission, but come on, this idea is much cooler and it makes Rockstar money. So move that, that stupid headhunter mission where you know the people spawn here. And maybe this is the door you walk into maybe you could just walk straight in and boom, you're in the lobby. Or maybe there's a little blue dot right there and then you get teleported into the lobby. Either way, I'd be happy. And then up there, you know, you could have certain rooms and certain other things. It's not the biggest hotel, so that's one of the downsides. But in terms of 
security and stuff, it, it makes the most sense because it's got the wall down there. You know, if they wanted to, they could update it, put some people, some NPCs up on these ledges, maybe put one of the SAM missiles or something. It's got its own little pool out here and the little personal valet spot you pull up here and it's even got a little garage. Now, what they could do with the garage or with people's cars, you know, it comes in here, but then it maybe transports into some underground garage where like the idea uh, suggested, people can just look at cars instead of driving them. And that would be good for car shows. You know, it's something I've always asked for a little thing or a little place we can do car shows. So that adds something else, you know, that I'm just thinking of. But this, this one, like I said, is probably one of the best, better locations. Now, one of the cooler named locations, we have the Von Krastenberg Hotel. And it's even like, it's a similar name, Krastenberg Continental. So you have that going for it. But this one is in a trickier location. I mean, they could easily add some stuff to the roof, you know, some sand missiles or something like replace those little satellite dishes with sand missiles. And maybe out front, you would have some NPCs to guard the little door. But the interior to this is actually, well, it's not done, but you can see maybe this would be a little part of the lobby and you'd walk around and see everything else. The one downside though is it's not, it's not sort of closed in. So the area of the no violence would be hard to describe or hard to, to balance. I feel like, cause it would just sort of end like you have your valet spot back here and maybe you have your little pool area over there, but unless they made like the whole block a, a no violence zone, there's no real boundaries, I guess you could say, but I do like the name of it. So that's, that's, you know, a benefit. One of the other cooler locations is this one, the Richmond Hotel. Now this one is probably the biggest and it really does take up a whole like block. So the boundaries, while they're not gated uh, per se, like the, the, uh, the Grand or the Gentry, Gentry Manor Hotel, it still has pretty definable boundaries and it's got a huge, huge area out in front. And obviously it's got the, the pool and stuff in the back. And there's a lot of space here for whether it's rooms or, uh, for the, the armorer place or the tailor. Now this one, you wouldn't really have a great view if you did spend money on one of the better rooms. So maybe that's why they don't want to put it here, but I don't actually think anything in the game it uses this area so that is also another little plus plus. and then i think there's one in the city that the guy mentioned but the problem is or, or the thing i would think rockstar wouldn't want to do is put something like this in the city because the city's chaotic i don't really count up here in vinewood sort of part of the city the city is just it's too hectic it's too chaotic so putting some sort of defense hotel where people can't shoot and stuff in the city i don't think that would really work Ideally, I mean, this one is is kind of in the middle of nowhere. The the Manor Hotel here, it's it's in a place maybe some people travel because they travel along this road. But for the most part, I don't think many people will have an issue if they put some sort of defense barrier, sort of in this area. But anyway, that that's pretty much it with this concept. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. One final thing, if they did want to revolve a DLC concept or a DLC around this idea, they could totally add some assassination missions. Those would be the new missions per se. And you know, you could do all kinds of stuff, whether it's like helping some, some bad guys deal with some other bad guys, or you're helping a gang fight another gang, or you're helping a, a high end businessman with something. You're doing some assassination missions where you have to do certain stealth things, or you have to use certain weapons. That would be kind of cool, but really the main part is this hotel idea. I know a lot of us want mansions, but realistically, I don't know if that's going to happen. However, a hotel with all of these new features, it would be perfect because they could use these hotels that they made in the game. And it would, I think, make them a, a lot of money because you would have to hold all this new content behind this property. So people would have to spend money on the membership and you could charge an absurd amount of money for all this stuff. And that's not great for us people who play the game, but ideally, you know, that's probably what Rockstar are looking for. But considering this adds some things to the game that many of us have wanted for a while, I'm all for paying the money. Anyway, 
This video has gone on long enough. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you did enjoy the video and like this idea, drop it a like, share it with Rockstar. As always with these DLC concepts, the more people who see them, the more likely something is to get done. But I just read this the other day and I thought it was the coolest thing, the coolest concept or one of the coolest concepts I've seen or read in GTA Online. But anyway, thank you all for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.